And now it's time for another Booze and News beer review. Look at the up real quick. We are doing St. Arnold's Christmas beer. Does it say on the can what the ABV is? Or glass, I guess. Let's see. Uh, I'm working. No. Oh. Yeah, 7.5. That's pretty good. Oh, it does. Yeah. 7.5? 7. 7. Oh, I'm going to get ripped tonight, boys. All right. Jesus. Okay. 7.5? Wow. This was a cheap-ass six-pack for 7.5. I paid like $8 for it at Kroger. Very good. Yeah. Um, the beer. Yeah. Let me. Oh, want to? Let me. Uh, did we all crack ours open? Yeah, I got right. my. I got mine open. We can go ahead and start tasting. I'm just gonna pull up the browser so everybody could see it. Um, where is my Christmas sale thing? There we go. Cool. All right, everybody should be able to see this info from Untapped. Um, all right. It, it actually has it coming in on Untapped at seven percent, but on the can, on the can or whatever it says seven point five. Uh, it has it listed at thirty five IBUs. Says it's a rich, hearty ale, perfect for the holiday season with a malty sweetness and spicy hop character. The generous use of five different malts is responsible for the full flavor and high alcohol level of this beer. St. Arnold's Christmas Ale is best consumed at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Oh, shit. It's won a lot of awards. Look at all these awards this beer's won. Gold medals. Uh, Bronze medals, silver medals at the World Beer Championships and the real wow. festivals. So yeah, this is a all right. This is a high roller for what we normally do. As right. far as I feel like I've had this before, but like I don't remember it. So it's this is almost like a fresh review. I'm I'm pretty sure I've had it before. Yeah, well, I'm getting mine going right now. Do you guys have any first thoughts on aromas or flavors? It says it has five different malts, so I imagine very malty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really smooth, um, but I, I can, yeah, it's very heavy. Yeah, it's like, it's got, it's got like that, that malty bite to it, but it's, it's good. It's a much better Christmas beer than the, uh, the last one that we had. What did we do last week? We did, um... Uh, let's see, your eye out. Oh, oh, you'll shoot your eye you'll out. You'll shoot your yeah. eye out by Carbock, yeah, okay. Yeah, and this that, is which has won zero awards. Oh, wait, <coughs> I, have, I have the browser up. Yeah, this is uh, you know that's uh, you, you'll shoot your eyes has won zero awards and this has won several. So, I mean, it has this a really it has a really sweet aroma mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, um, it's, it's kind of got like a sweet aftertaste too, like I, how it finishes. I, I, I don't know about y'all. What do you guys think about the carbonation? It seems a little undercarbonated to me. Mine feels yeah, over. You think it's over? Mine's giving me like a bite. Like yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That could be due to the to the bottling versus. It could maybe. be the difference between bottling and canning. Uh, yeah, because I'm like, wow, this has more of a, like a a bite than I thought it would have. Mine feels strongly carbonated. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know why that would make such a you know because usually when they take it off of the vessel, the fermenter is when they take it right to bottling or kegging. So this just you know the can ones could be from a completely different batch potentially than the mm. bottle ones. You know what I mean? Um, Maybe that. Now, normally they have it down to such a science that it, they're identical, but like I said, mine has very little head, and it just appears to be low carbonation. So, but other than that, I like the flavor. It's sweet. Um, yeah, it's malty. This is much more what I expect from a Christmas ale than like right. the red ale that we did last week. Yeah. yeah. Um, and 7% yeah. is exactly what I'm thinking about when I'm thinking about like getting fucked up with my family over Christmas or something. Hell yeah! So this taste, this taste. I taste this. You know, I drink this, and it brings to mind like, like the North Star and Jesus, <laughs> right. and cross. Right. You know, this you. right. Yeah. This tastes. Well, this tastes violent. like. This tastes like what you would want to be sipping on when you find out that your uh, pregnant wife who you've never touched has given birth and three strange dudes show up at your house to, like, you. you know, be there when it arrives. Perfect well, beer. Those, like, tra tra traumatic moments. Where you're like, oh, I've been fucked. It's great beer to talk to. We should pitch that as a commercial for this beer. It should be, you know, the guy's sitting there and he's, like, fucking, you can, he's got his hands in his, you know, in his face... And he's and he's like, I swear, I never even had sex with her. 
And, uh, you know, then three dudes come knocking, bringing gifts and shit that he's never met. And uh, then he has to just get drunk on fucking... What a wild story that is, like... The old like, Christmas Like, who hell. up with that? Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. And you would think back in those times... I mean, those were the kind of days when people were fucking just beating the crap and killing their wives and shit. So, that you know, it's really... Must have been a... That made the whole story more of a miracle that she survived. Uh, <laughs> Christmas is all about Christianity is all about forgiveness. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's and true. What better way to symbolize forgiveness than like being cocked and staying with them? <laughs> that's true. All right, we got to get to rating this beer. What do y'all? Where do you want to go with it? Where do you guys want to rate uh, this? I rate uh, this very high. This is very high for me. Um. The percent alone, I like it because, I mean, I drink beer for taste, but shit, if I could get, you know, I'm an alcoholic, so it's not going to do anything to me. But if it could, you know, mm-hmm. ping, ping, bounce off my armor a little bit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with like a upper eight. I'm going to say like an 8.8, bro. Ooh, nice. All right. What about you, Coleman? I also would rate this very high <laughs> for a beer uh, that is like... Uh, local Christmas beer is like knocks it out of the park. Yeah, you know, yeah. drink it. I yes. think about you know Santa fucking my dad or whatever <laughs> we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, and uh, That's this good. is good. <laughs> I'll say seven point five ABV. I'm gonna give it a seven point five to okay. give it room. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna go high with it too because I mean, I was a little bit biased. I think a beer this good that is from the city that I live in is extraordinary. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna highly recommend this one to people. Thanks for watching. Follow or subscribe to us on all these platforms, and catch us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, live on Twitch.